Backstreet Boy Nick Carter has been accused of rape by former Dream singer Melissa Schumann. Schumann claims Carter sexually assaulted her in 2002, when she was 18 and he was 22. She said her first conversation with Carter occurred over the phone while she was filming her This Is Me remix music video with her group Dream and then Boss. P. Diddy. Schumann wrote on her blog that their labels set up the call because they thought the pair should date. My label reps sat in on the call, anticipating a spark between the two of us. I was already dating someone steadily at the time, Schumann wrote. Schumann said a few years later, Carter invited her to his Santa Monica apartment for a casual hangout, to which she also invited a friend. She claims that they all took a shot and played video games before Carter asked her to come into his office and listen to some new music he was working on. Carter allegedly made out with her before forcibly unbuttoning her pants and performing oral sex on her. Despite her desperate calls for him to stop, Dot Schumann then claims he took her into a bathroom where he made her perform oral sex on him. He was stronger and much bigger than me, and there was no way I would be able to open that door or have anyone help me. My friend couldn't help me, I didn't even know where she was. So when he placed my hand on his penis, my thought was the only way to get out was to get him to finish what he had started. Schumann wrote. Schumann alleges that Carter then threw her on the bed and climbed on top of her. I told him that I was a virgin and I didn't want to have sex. I told him that I was saving myself for my future husband. I said it over and over again, she wrote. She alleges that Carter, who appeared to be growing impatient with her, then forced her to have intercourse. After the alleged rape, Schumann said Carter called her over and over again for weeks but she refused to pick up the phone. Then he finally left me one last nasty, angry message and he never called me again, she wrote. It was over, at least I thought it was. I thought I'd never have to see or hear from him ever again. Until, I later signed with his manager, Kenneth Creer. Kenneth Creer was a very powerful manager who I thought could help me make my mark as a recording artist, Schumann said. But she said she soon found out that Creer and Aunt Carter, who is married to Lauren Kitt, were best friends. Carter and Kitt also have a son together. Kenneth set up a showcase for me for a major label. We recorded a few songs, one of them was a duet with my abuser. We never recorded together. He had pre-recorded his part and I went in and recorded mine. Dot again, what was I supposed to do? I couldn't tell my manager that his best friend had raped me so I won't record this song, Schumann wrote. Dot Schumann said she didn't tell her friend, who was also at the apartment during the alleged rape, about the incident. Dot and instead, she told her manager, who told her Carter had one of the most powerful legal teams out there and publicly accusing him would hurt her career. Dot Schumann said that she quickly lost interest in pursuing a career as a recording artist. Apostrophe. I was broken. I was tired. I was traumatized. I told my therapist. I told my family. I told my friends. I have a plethora of people who can attest that I eventually became open vocal about my experience, I've just never had the platform to come out publicly, she wrote in the blog post. Schumann said her family urged her to come forward about the alleged incident after the news broke about the multiple sexual assault allegations against Harvey Weinstein. She said at first she said no until she saw a Radar Online article last month claiming that Carter was accused of sexually assaulting a 20 year old fan during a booze fueled house party in 2006. Schumann said that commenters on the story victim shamed the woman, which is one of the reasons why victims don't speak out. Apostrophe. I feel I have an obligation now to come forward with the hope and intention to inspire and encourage other victims to tell their story. We are stronger in numbers. If you are reading this and you have been assaulted, no, you don't have to be silent and you are not alone. I know it's scary. I'm scared. I believe you. I stand with you and together I hope we can bring light to things that have been lost in the darkness for so long," Schumann wrote, concluding with hashtag MeToo.